Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. This video is on the SE6 Gainful in DCS World. The SE6 system in DCS consists of two parts. The first part is the radar, which is the straight flush. Its RWR indication is 6. And then it uses the launcher assembly, which is the SK212 Cub missile system. It's got a range of about 15 nautical miles, altitude of about 33,000 feet. It uses initial command line of sight for tracking with terminal semi-active radar homing, so the missile can be defeated with chaff, not flares. The SA-6 can be quite deadly against targets flying at low level. Uh, things like A-10s, Harriers and things like F-5s are particularly susceptible to them. Now, the system itself can only track one or two targets at the same time, so if you're flying in as a four-ship, unlucky for two of you, but the other two should be perfectly fine. Now, you could stand off with an F-18, a 16 or a Jeff and easily kill the SA-6 because it's not got a very good range compared to you flying high and fast with your harms. Uh, you're going to easily be able to destroy an SA-6. This video, though, um, I'll cover how you do it if you're not flying something that carries harm. That way, you won't need to rely on seed aircraft. Okay, we're in the F-5, but we are in air-to-air -air mode, so let's change that. We select those hard points, turn off the air-to-air -air weapons. Uh, our bomb's on the outer pylon, so outer pylon up and up. Switch it to ripple, arm the bomb, and make sure fuel is out of balance because it wasn't. So, you heard the beep beep there. Uh, that means that we've been locked up by something, or sorry, we've been targeted by something. Now we've got dirt somewhere, so we click search. We can see there, that's an SA-6. SA-6, so it's not an infrared missile, so we're going to be looking at uh, chaff to defeat it. Like I said earlier, it's command line of sight and then semi-active radar homing. So we've got the SA-6 on the RWR. Now, if you don't have the um, F5 RWR mod, um, it means you have to switch between search and track. So when that goes into track, and it'll disappear off search mode. So for now, we're going to fly towards where he is. Now, I want to go for a manual drop. I'm going to put my depression to me. Um, right, check my bombs are set up. Yep, they're all good to go. Armed. So he's still in search mode, so we've got time. So he's up ahead somewhere. So if I'm doing a pop-up, i got to identify places. So buildings, 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 a couple of bridges and the island. So we're looking at areas. So when we see it launch as going to think about where we're going to pop up from. So our heading at the minute is uh, direct west. So he's lost on search. You know, that means he's tracking us. So soon we're going to launch that by an SA-6, which is fun. So we'll get ready with the chaff and flares, but we also want to see where he fires from. Keep flying towards. Watch your height. We don't want it too high because we want to be descending low level. The only thing we're doing up this high this high is to get him to launch it as there he is okay so he's on the island i'll use the bridges as a reference point for my pop-up so we've gone aggressive 90 degrees left and down we're going to come aggressive again Chaff and flare's gone out Chaff and flare's gone out so now we're going to descend down we've led those missiles of a lot of energy we're going to dive for the deck. Diving, diving, diving. Hopefully we'll lose the tracking radar soon enough. Yep, there it goes. We can now kick back towards him. He launched from. So he launched from us, at us from over here because we can still see the smoke. We're going to fly in there. goes one missile. So we needed that one. Didn't see the other one. Uh, and I would be dead by now if it was still coming towards me. So we've lost the... Um, Radar again in tracking mode, so it's in search. We can see him there still. So we'll go back and check for tracking. So he's no longer tracking us, which means for the moment we're safe. Soon enough we'll be completely safe because we'll be too close for him to engage us at all. And of course we're doing decimal nine. We're nice and slick. We've only got two bombs on the wings in a certain line, uh, and then two aim nines. So we're going to fly in, bridge off to the right, bridge off to. The Right again. We're so gonna keep flying down. Spit of land for the island, so we're gonna stay low. 
not too far from our bridges now we're going to do our pop-up crossing the river we're getting across getting close to where that little island is so there's our bridges means he's still in front of us slightly left so we're going to pull up into the right reverse that come across left and then reverse our roll flying in there he is now try and get yourself nice and steady for your attack run and then pickle about 1700 feet for that drop bombs impacted no longer being targeted by an SA6. When you're flying in something like the F5, you don't have the luxury of a targeting pod, so you've actually got to goad the enemy into shooting at you so you can see where it is. So like I done in the video, I got it to shoot at me, and then I just broke the missile's lock, broke its track and descended the low level, then flew in and bombed it. Now, you can do that for most systems. Um, if you notice, I've done that in the SA10 video as well. Of course, thank you all for subscribing and liking the channel. Uh, it's really great, and I'll enjoy making these videos for you to, uh, to watch. If you want to learn more, uh, come and join us at Tactical DCS. We offer training in every module for free. Don't forget to check out my good friends over at the Air Warfare group. Um, I'll include links in the description below for both the Discord and for their channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Until next time, Tactical Pascal. Out!